Hey, my friends, it's your friend Kevin. This is your Divine Intelligence Report. All right, so we're going to start with our credits for our card of the week. We're using the 22 Archangels Oracle brand new deck out by Kyle Gray. And our card of the week is Faith for uh just to give us a little bit of an extra boost we went to happier me affirmation cards by ariand uh, and the happier me and uh, uh happier me affirmation for today is what i seek is seeking me and then look we've got a picture of the night sky the g galaxy the universe and the door being open not closed and then we have the universe is so generous that it can't wait to send your way whatever is necessary to help you on your journey. Just open your mind, the door that leads to your infinite possibilities, and accept that you are an unlimited being. We are children of the divine, and the divine puts us down on earth, the playground of life, to have at it what we will, what we want. We've got our um, beautiful archangel of faith moving mountains this week faith comes and reminds us that we've got what it takes we have the power we just got to keep in manifestation mode we have to pray or at least believe that the prayers the desires the images the visions that we want for our lives for ourselves are in progress or in, are in yes in progress that's what i should say and we're using animal guides tarot deck a brand new one well it's not really a new one it's a re designed deck by Radley Valentine these images are by Dan Craig um, I actually like this deck maybe because I'm so into animals in the animal kingdom my isms which seem to go along with all of this is I'm aligned with my missions and anchored in my purpose no matter what and I am patient and I am forgiveness. I forgive myself for being impatient. I forgive myself for expecting more than what's coming. I forgive myself for not feeling worthy. I forgive myself for all of the negativity that I have been laying at my doorstep. And then the last one, I am accepting and allowing all the changes in my life with a grateful heart. And so it is. So let's see. Faith is here to remind us we have to trust in our ability to create the miracles. I think for me that comes from realizing and understanding and knowing when we created those miracles before. All right, let's get to it. Gertrude and Beatrice, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, they are sitting in their garden. Um, the wall of the garden is now like a backdrop for them and the gate that was there yesterday is now an archway uh, there seems to be a trellis running across the top almost like an arbor uh, and it's got flowers on it um, wisteria and other things growing and blooming and um, there's a pathway that is going underneath this arbor wooden thing that's leading out into the wilderness um i can see all kinds of things beyond that wall or beyond that the security of where i am okay all right thank you for the visual all right we'll take this card right off the top let's see what this card brings the two of air yesterday we had the night of air or night of fire i can't remember so I like this, you know, because whenever I see two dachshunds like this, it reminds me of the yin and the yang and the duality of ideas coming together, partnerships. Little dachshunds are spunky little dogs and they've got, they're very dutiful. Um, they seek out things that shouldn't be there. Incidentally, this is a number six day, and I wrote some notes about number six. The energy of today, or the energy of a person with a six with a six vibration, is of responsibility, um, a time to be nurturing with yourself and others, 
be loving, be loving to ourselves and then be loving to others. Create the energy of domestication, caring about your home, your family, the way you look, caring about the way you serve others, being respectful of yourself um, and healing to yourself, paying close attention to exactly how you're feeling, particularly with what's going on around you. Did you create the environment that you now find yourself in? Did you set about with your thoughts to create the disillusions that seem to be plaguing you? So it might be time to rethink your choices. Try to find a more positive energy to move forward on. Ask for guidance. But be focused on right now, this moment. What can you change? So let's see. The two of air, procrastination and worrying what other people will think are blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's expectations, follow your inner guidance. You know, I like this whole confirmation because the seven of air is the card that goes with the number six. It's like the significator. And it's a reminder that we rob ourselves of our full potentiality because we are fearful that we may be disserving or dishonoring disrespecting or upsetting someone else and it reminds me of times in my own life where I have not shared what's going on I have not uh, told what's happening I've not been honest I've kept it down and then other times where it's like a volcano it just comes erupting and I just can't stop blabbing I don't know that either one is right or wrong I think the honesty and the truthfulness starts with yourself. It creates vulnerability. And I would say the number six day, while it's creative, it comes right after change. It comes right after the idea that change is coming. It can also be a time where we feel vulnerable, where we want to be nurtured. The environment we find ourselves in is foreign. The new um, revelations that we are realizing and open ourselves up to are strange and they're different. And we may have in haste done some things that we repent for at leisure. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a bit of a, a quote or a bit of a um, what they call a cliche. Um, by accepting and allowing the changes with a grateful heart, even the ones that are bumpy, even the potholes, by accepting and allowing your help from your spirit guides and your angels who nurture you, who love you, who put you on this adventure playground to have a good time. We are honoring ourselves. And faith says to be grateful for what we're able to do for other people, where we are able to be of service for other people. Asking, where can I be of service to other people? Today's energy calls forth manifestation. It asks us to keep our vibrations high by focusing on service, being fully present to every one of our relationships and focusing on what we are grateful for. This will magnetize, attract, bring forward all of the miracles. Insecurity is where we rob ourselves of opportunity. The idea that we're not worthy, we can't do it, we'll get it wrong, there's a mistake. Big creative people, designers, painters, musicians, people who literally create from what they hear in their mind, what they see with their eyes that isn't actually in front of them, the visionaries, most of them pushed through the boundaries of insecurity. Every author that has a book on the shelf at some point had their first book. At some point had their first meeting in front of someone. At some point 
didn't believe that whatever they were doing, creating or putting out there was ever going to be red seen. And then there's this whole thing about the imposter syndrome. This is also a trap. It's also a method of procrastination. Who am I to tell other people how to do this, what to do, the messages? And the desire on all of us that want to step forward into service is that we do a good job. That is wonderful. But the piece that gets in the way is the piece that you don't believe that you already are. Not that you're going to do a sloppy job and call it a good job. Not that you're going to go off half-cocked or a mess and say, look how fabulous that was. No. Not that you're going to take someone else's inspiration and call it your own. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is to somewhat get out your own way, to challenge yourself, to be in the deserving mode, and to realize that we are a product of divine inspiration. Somebody, somewhere, at some point, said, you're a soul that's going to inhabit a body. And with this body, you're going to do great things. And with these great things, you're going to move mountains. And you're going to do all of this in one lifetime. And they give you this gift of life give you this gift of something to do and we make those choices with what we've got where we're at in life so wherever you are at li in life right now look at where you are pay attention to what's going on pay attention to how you feel pay attention to the plan in place and then see up ahead where all these skills all these services all these manifestations where all that can take you and until tomorrow I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.